everybody, I'm Mandy with Cherished Crafty Creations and I wanted to show you all how I changed my thread on my Sail Right 111. Um, this is the 60 weight jeans top stitching thread from Wawak. I love it. I do this the cheater way and I'll show you how I wind my bobbins too because I don't keep two threads. I'm not going to buy two threads so I just wind a couple bobbins whenever I switch thread. So, first thing is I make sure my machine's on. And I have it on a little um, surge protector down here. I just flip that off when I'm not using it. And make sure your foot press is up. And this is a little bit hard to do. Okay. Then take your needle thread out of the needle and the little hole that goes right above it. Then I cut my thread up here. Okay. So we're going to leave this here. Do not pull it out. I'm going to take my bobbin out because I'm done with this color and I don't like to do it with bobbin. And I'm going to take the bobbin out of the case. And then I have this nifty little bobbin holder here. Okay, so I'm going to wind two threads with a new color, two bobbins with a new color. Let me stick this over here. And I'm going to use, this is the Royal Blue. I'm going to take this thread down. And it can go back up in its spot. Put this one here. And this is the thread it came with. I mean, you can, there's a big difference. This is, the, I think, the bonded nylon. It's probably like a Tex 80 or something like that. It's really thick. And I do move this bar so that I can see, since I have it against the wall. And I just go from back to front. I don't know how you're, it may not be how you're supposed to do it. I don't really think it matters. And then there's this little hole right here for the bobbin winding. Go through that around your tension disc. This one's a little tricky to get it around. So what I like to do is feed it around. Where is she going on it? Right, feed it around. And make sure you pull it. So hold this hand and then set it in that tension. Then I'm going to stick this through one of the holes. Just pick a hole. And I do it on the outside. And push that on. If that's too loose or too tight, you can adjust that. Just pinch it if it's too tight. Push that forward. I like to hold this thread so that it doesn't just go crazy. Because that will move. All right. It'll pop off. And you can see the oil popping up here. It's good to get it full flat so that it um, will make sure it's oiled nicely. And then it pops when it's done. So then I just cut it. Hold on, honey. Pull that one off. And you can make it get more full probably, but that's where I have it set. So we're going to do the second one. And I find that doing two bobbins will get me a good amount. Let me hold that. I got a little squeaking going on. I might need to put a little bit of oil in there. Okay, 
So we got that done. Just clip it, pull that off, and I'm gonna, here's my little oiler. I'm gonna stick just a dab of oil in it. Maybe not, I'll do that one well, but it goes right there. Okay, so we have our two bobbins, our bobbin case. Just pull that out of the tension disc. It's got a little twist to it, I'm gonna untwist it. Okay, take your two pieces, your last one and your new one. Do not pull it out. You don't want it coming out through. So, take them and just tie them together. It's kind of hard to tie little threads together, but I just kind of do. I think it's called a square knot. I don't know. And just tug on it to make sure it's not going to come apart too easy. And I like to clip my threads. You don't probably don't have to, but that's just how I do it. Okay, so now we're going to thread it. Watch the thing. Hold on, honey. It goes through your setup and it just follows your threading line through the tension discs. There it is. It's already gone around. I gotta stick it. Make sure you stick it in these because it does come out of those. Through that. Through that. through that one. And then all that's left is our needle guide and our needle. So we're going to let's get some light. I do like to lick the thread because I feel like it keeps it together. I need a thicker thread. Through that needle guide and then thread left to right. This blue is harder to see. Let's get that. Sorry if I'm in the way. There we go. Okay, then I like to... I like to go ahead and stick it through the hole in your foot. Okay, so we have that. Now, we still don't have a bobbin in. So I'm going to stick this bobbin in my bobbin holder because I don't need it. I like to hold the bobbin case like this so that I know I have it the right direction. And if you need to adjust your tension, you use that little screw right there. Once you have it set for the style thread you need, you shouldn't have to touch it again. Bobbin rotates clockwise if you're holding it this way. So drop it in go through your tension disc and you should have to be able to put a little tension to pull it so if you hold that it won't fall out all right so we're going to stick it back in there and it's locked in hold your top thread pick up your bottom thread drop your foot back down and Let's sew and see how it does. Make sure you hold your threads. Remember this is just regular cotton so it's not very thick. I normally test on a thicker piece. And we have a beautiful stitch. Okay. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting. Have a wonderful day.